what's up everybody? Jack 2506. What's up? Got eight and seven millimeter 08 back there. We're going to uh, put out some uh, raccoon traps. I know we ain't posted anything in a while, but it's it's been a while. We had a uh, we had a lot of uh, deer hunting stuff that we were trying to film last year. Aiden got his triple trophy. Um, his mom got a nice buck. We had a big buck. I'll show you a picture of that here in a second. Cha ching right up there. And uh, that that was a sure enough buck. We hunted that deer for a while, a while, didn't we? We had a couple opportunities to kill him, we just couldn't. So we'll, we'll get back with you here shortly. We're gonna get back here in the woods and we got some raccoons hanging on our feeder. Yeah. And uh, uh, we just don't like that. Don't tear up the solar panels, man. You can get it, get your bike to eat and move on, but you start hanging on solar panels, tearing up stuff, uh, it's time for you to go. So we'll get back with you here shortly. <music> What's up, guys? Hey, we got some dog proofs. They're they're locked, loaded. I don't know if this is the right way. It's the first time we've ever messed with them. So we're gonna try to put it in the ground right here. Is this the right way to do it or not? Just trying to push it in with the thing. Should have stay. I got it. Now it's in the ground. It's in the ground. So now we do this right here. Get this nice down. So the dog proof don't come out. All right, get us some get us some old cat food. Pour it down the hole. Yeah, just get a little bit. We're using the almighty cat food here. I can never get it open. Just open one corner of it. There you go. Just like that. There we go. Remember, don't put your finger inside there. Just, hey, get some out in your hand and just drop it down in there. Yeah, yeah like that right there. And then put a little bit on the outside. That's good. That's probably good. Ow! Did you get your finger? Get me. And did it get you? Yeah. Obviously, lesson is drop from a high, drop it in there a little higher because it sets pretty easy and goes off pretty easy. So now we're gonna get another one set, and we're gonna get some cell cameras put on. Get them down in the ground and get a stake. So there's the mm. Mm. All right. All right, so let me set this. Now we're gonna put a little cat food in there. You want me to do it this time? Yeah. All right. So we got that set. Now we're gonna put put our uh, out. So we got we got the new Flex M from uh, Spy Points. Got them set up. We're going to get them 
put on a tree, probably put it on that tree right there facing this. All right, we got one cell camera up. I'm gonna turn her just a little bit. Got her pointed at that trap right here. See his head right in there, right there. And then another trap right over here. Boom. And we got another camera right there watching it. So now we got all the traps up. We had to fix the feeder a little bit. It was a little messed up. Old deer stand right back there. Spy point sending us pictures of, us, of ourselves already. So we got this set up. We'll sit here and watch them tonight. See if we catch us a coon. We'll be back. What's up, everybody? What's up? We set them traps out yesterday about what time? 3.30 maybe. 3.30, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 7.30 this morning. Got him on camera. Mm -hmm. Got us a coon trapped up. We're going to go back here and uh look at him all right we got a we got a coon on the trap i don't know if y'all can I see can him or not i can see him from right there oh he just gave up uh, he's just laying there he ain't been on there very long about 30 minutes yep Got him in the old thing, so we're going to get him taken care of. There you go. All right, we're going to re reset this trap back. We learned something. You, you, you fill it up with bait, and then you set the trap. That's good. That's good. That's good right there. All right. So he's resetting the trap. about the best way I'm gonna be able to fix this because this is why that we're trapping these coons because they're we show them right here they're, see that they pulled my freaking wires out of my out of my feeder so we're just gonna zip tie this back up here and hopefully it won't tear it up feeder they pulled them out the feeder wasn't working for three days we didn't know I was like man something's wrong we ain't seen deer in three days so I don't mind I don't mind I don't mind coons eating. I don't care for any animal coming up here to eat. I mean, they got to all eat. But eat, go away. Don't get up here and tear my shit up. Good. Probably ought not say that on YouTube, but. Don't Does it look like Braden up. Price gets demonetized for saying that? I mean, that's just the way it is, man. You start tearing my stuff up, costing me money, it's time for you to go. So, the coons. Just to get eradicated. We had more this year than we had last year, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, there was, we had one picture earlier this year. I think we had like six, seven coons in it at that, one time. Like three of them were just hanging off the bottom of yeah. this. And like. Yeah, they, they climb up here and hang on the bottom of it. Try to break it off or stuff. So, hopefully this will. Keep them from tearing it up. I don't. Oop! Drop that. I got it. Never mind. Get this done up like this. But the the box is busted. Where this little thing come out of there? I don't know. We'd be all right. I hope y'all enjoyed that. It was kind of a learning curve for us. Me and Aiden, we sure did. Uh, we sure did enjoy doing that. Uh, we caught another coon last night about midnight. We went back there and took care of that one. Uh, got him all done up. Set the traps back. Um, 
something I've never done before. I've never used dogless traps before or, or dog proof traps, however you want to call them, um, to catch coons and stuff. Uh, unique take on it. Um, I like them, man. Pretty simple, uh, easy to use. You got to be careful. I mean, with any trap, you know, you can you can mess up, lose a finger, something like that. You know, I still got all ten of mine, so uh, Aiden still got all ten of his. Uh, just to update, so when that trap went off when he was feeding it or, or filling it up, um, the spring tension that that actually holds the the spring down when it when it went off, that piece comes all the way back up, and that's what hit his finger. It hit him, hit him on his uh, outside of his finger. But yeah, he's okay. Uh, scared the crap out of him. I thought it done. I thought he done lost a finger there for a second. But um, it's all good. We learning curve for us. But uh, set the traps on Friday. Today's Sunday. We caught two coons. Man, I'm happy with it. Um, we're gonna let them run today uh if we don't we don't catch anything today uh we'll go back there and we'll de-arm them i don't like leaving them uh trapped up like that um or set if uh you know if i'm not gonna be able to get to the uh get to the animal uh quickly to dispatch it i don't want to sit there and suffer and stuff like that so uh while i'm at work and stuff like that we're, we're only going to do this on the weekends that way uh you know coons are they're pretty smart man they 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 figured out we caught both coons off the same uh trap the other trap we had set um nothing on it so we'll see how it goes and um maybe there'll be a part two i was, I was telling my neighbor about it and he's like man i got like three or four of them dog proofs at the house if you want to set them all out you can i was like okay <laughs> now i think we're gonna have about five or six out i guess but uh so y'all enjoy remember like subscribe um check your notifications we're, we're gonna try to do some stuff uh here in the next couple of weeks we're going down south arkansas get that that deer camp ready to go um i don't know if it's anything y'all want to see or not but we might shoot something um and you never know i mean i, I do like doing uh good content good videos for people so um if I see something that I think y'all might enjoy, I'll, I'll put it on film. So we'll catch y'all next.